Hello, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. And today we're here to talk about HP Z220 workstation memory upgrades and how to properly load the system. For starters, the HP Z220 is the next gen to the HP Z210. It has one CPU socket and it takes Intel E3-1200 V1 or V2 series CPUs, or you can use I3, I5, or I7 series CPUs. There are four DIMM slots and it accepts one type of memory, ECC unbuffered. You can put in four 8 gigs and max out at 32 gigabytes and top out at a speed of 1866 megahertz. Um, now let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you a little bit more about the inside and how to properly load the system. But before we do, I always recommend putting on ESD equipment just to make sure you don't shock the system. So I'll be right back. Now that we have our ESD gear on, we're safe to open the machine and prevent it from electrostatic discharge, potentially damaging the components or the motherboard itself. So this is very simple. You're just gonna lift this up, grab the top straight up. Comes off nice and easy. So as we discussed earlier, you're going to notice that there is a one CPU. Uh, currently there's the heat sink and fan combo on top to keep it cool and prevent any overheating. And there are four DIMM slots. Uh, you will also notice that there are two memory channels and there are two DIMMs per memory channel. Uh, this is important in case you were only loading, let's just say, two modules. You would want to load them in the start of the channel, which is the white slot. So you would load them in the white and the white, and you would skip the two black slots. Of course, I would recommend just go ahead and loading this up with all four modules. And uh, really, uh, with modules being as cheap as they are nowadays, you can get uh, 8 gigs for uh, roughly $50, $55 nowadays. Uh, you can load this whole thing up for you know 200 bucks and uh, vastly increase the performance um, and that's one of the things that I always say for a really cheap price you can uh, kind of keep a system uh, in place and not have to upgrade or do anything else as far as like replacing the machine um, and you can just upgrade the RAM and, and really increase the overall performance so um, I'll go ahead and uh, load this up and show you how easy it is uh, one thing I would like to note is uh, there is a notch here in the middle also uh, called a key and the key is very important because this is here to prevent users from making errors um, you cannot put in for instance a DDR2 module the notch would be in a different spot you cannot put a DDR4 module the notch would be in a different uh, spot you can't put in a uh, regular desktop module um, this is again just to prevent users from putting in the wrong stuff but on the flip side it's important because there the notch itself is also on the dim slot in the motherboard so if you flip this the wrong way you can do one of two things you can damage the module itself or even worse you could damage the dim slot which would then either mean you have one or two scenarios you can't use that dim or you can't you you need to replace the motherboard neither are scenarios that anyone wants because no one wants to spend money on that stuff okay uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to load it up so first things like I said line this up And you're going to notice when you put this in, there's a nice little click. And that makes you know that it is fully seated. And that is very important. And just like that, you can see in a matter of you know, under a minute you can put four of these modules in and, and it's a super easy process, uh, something that any, um, any anybody could do. You don't have to be a computer technician. Uh, you could be an everyday just user that's looking to get more performance out of your system and you can see this is very simple to do. Um, so look, now that we're done, um, I'll show you how to put the top back on and we can call it a day. So I actually flipped it around and set it down. So you just want to line this back up properly. And I always lift up here just to make sure it securely goes down. And boom, just like that, you're done. So if you guys need uh, any upgrades yourself, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. And thanks again for stopping by. Please uh, click the subscribe button down below.